<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex over here, MTV Alex, and today I'm going to show you a quick tip. But before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing and turn the notification bell on if you haven't done so. If you want to support the channel, you know, there's a link down in the description. And other than that, let's get this party started. So, what I want to show you today is that if you have an e-bike, this might be a problem to you, like especially to lube up the chain, because when you back pedal, nothing happens. And if you want to try to do this with the bike off, it's super hard. And actually, if you start pedaling up when the bike is on, it's going to give you a lot of torque response. So, this is something that I seen actually on YouTube. And all you wanna do is get a little something something right here. And I'm just gonna hook up my chain ring with my crank arm, with something, whatever you can get a zip tie, whatever is more convenient. But you just wanna hold it together so that when you back pedal, it moves back right with you. So now I can use lube it and this is a common problem and i can see a little bit of corrosion on one of these chain rings i mean uh chains right there on the links because apparently this is a emtv problem that a lot of people doesn't lube it up as they should or as um, just like any other mountain bike so because this doesn't back up like normally so now that i can do this i can just go back and lube it up, really easy. Now, I am using dry lube because it's really, really nice. It doesn't leave a lot of grease residue or anything like that, and it's kind of like a silicone base. Now, now that you're done with this, I'm just gonna move up the chains. But yeah, that's how you can back up your chain so that you can lube it up with no issues at all. Trail mode. I'm just gonna pedal real quick, just lube up my cassette. And I like to do this like that because it's dry lube, it's not gonna make a mess, but everything's gonna be really good to go. Now, you might be wondering, why would I wanna do this? And let me show you why. For an example, this is my Polygon CIS QT8. And on any regular mountain bike, non e-bike, you can easily just back pedal and it will do that the chain will move just the way you want it to it's a quick easy way to loop it up before any trail ride it takes you less than a minute to do so the thing is that with the e-bike you can't back pedal because it won't do anything so if you have the hack like I just showed you now you can do it and you can also do it on the fly before any trail ride it might take you more than 30 seconds but it's still really easy to do so again if you found this hack interesting make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to support the channel link down in the description if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on other than that that is it for this one and i'll see you on the trails goodbye